we caught up with Douglas Trumbull, who worked as a special effects supervisor on Stanley Kubrick's masterpiece, 2001 A Space Odyssey, and we put him in the hot seat. I have to ask this question then. Did you have any involvement in conducting a fake lunar landing? No. Sorry, I'm sorry, I don't want to blow your balloon. No. <laughs> But there's another interesting story for me about the lunar landing in Apollo 11, mm -hmm. which was that because of my history of working on the movie, I was hired by CBS News to work on their coverage of the Apollo landing. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, very few people know about this one. Okay. I mean, they said, you know, we want to be able to show our audience during the Apollo 11 landing. Right. And I came up with an idea which I pitched to CBS News. I said, let's project images of the Apollo manual onto a screen and put them in color with gels. This, was, this all came from my readouts for HAL on 2001. I said, we can do this. Yeah. And I made this crazy kind of manually controlled projection system. I had nine 16 millimeter projectors, all projecting simultaneously onto one rear projection screen on the set directly below Walter Cronkite. Oh, wow. And, and NASA gave you that access? Yeah. Once again, we have an example of a motion picture icon collaborating directly with NASA on a production. And in this case, the production is to mimic the actual moon landing for a TV audience. So I can certainly understand why those in the conspiracy community would say where there's smoke, there's fire. Why do you think people today don't believe we landed on the moon? It's so mind-bogglingly complicated. Mm -hmm. there's, there's reason to be skeptical right. about it. Thousands of great engineers and minds put their heads together and made it work. Right. An incredible bravery on the part of those astronauts to yeah. do that yeah. and to risk their lives yeah. to pull that off. And, uh, and there's no question that they were there. Mm -hmm. And they've, they've, been, they've been back to the Apollo landing site. They know what it looks like. That stuff is still there. Mm -hmm. It's a sacred place because it actually did happen. That stuff is really there. And we took it there. Because I, I just think it's insulting and diminishes the hard work that so many people did to actually yeah. do the real thing.